counts is this is exactly the way she had it. I haven't changed anything. Why haven't you changed it? Not ready. Kenitha Taylor's daughter, Kaya, hasn't been in this room for over three years. The then 28-year-old missing since February 2020. Her black Toyota was found running nearby these train tracks. So this is the Ebony Alert. We looking for her. The Ebony Alert is looking for her. Man, fuck that, man. You confuse the people, man. I walk right past her ass. I would walk right past this woman if it was an ebony alert for her. They'd be like, did you see any did you see any black women over there? I'd be like, nah, I ain't see no. I was just over there. Ain't no black women over there. A a search crew. <laughs> I tell the search crew, a search crew, don't even go over there. I was over there, man. It ain't no black girls over there, man. It's just this one goddamn white girl over there, man. Y'all can go ahead and search over there. <laughs> They be like, oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, don't, don't, don't waste your time searching over there. It's just one white girl over there. Go search over that, that way. Why haven't you changed it? Not ready. Kenitha Taylor's daughter, Kaya, hasn't been in this room for over three years. The then 28-year-old missing since February 2020. Her black Toyota was found running nearby these train tracks in Plant City, Florida. Today, no arrests and Kaya nowhere to be found. Kaya is a woman of color. Do you think things would be different if Kaya was white? Kaya is white, you fucking little boosie looking. You look, look, look little boosie. <laughs> now this is this is this is nice looking woman. I'm not gonna, I'm, but I'm gonna call her little boosie because she's getting on my nerves. Are you trying to say that you the same thing as this woman right here? You and her are the same thing, little boosie. Y'all not the same thing, man. Y'all. You can tell she married to a white woman, white man. She married to a white man. Kaya nowhere to be found. Kaya is a woman of color. Do you think things would be different if Kaya was white? Yes, unfortunately. Yes. Black women and girls make up nearly 35% of missing women reports of all. Yeah, they be over there friend house for the weekend and shit. And don't tell their mothers and shit. Or they ran away with some fucking dude. You know how many fucking girls I done fucking had hanging over my house and shit? Or hanging around me and my partners and shit over the years? Black girls just run off sometimes, man. They come back. Trust me, they gonna come back. Of all ages, but just about 6% of the population, according to government data. In response to this trend, there's a new proposal called the Ebony Alert, a public notification <laughs> specific to missing black children and women in the state. But why did they use this girl, man? This is, this is retarded. Why did they use her? You telling me this? You tell first of all, this is my thing right here. You just told us that there's 89,000. <laughs> you just told us there are 89,000 missing black women. 89,000 missing black women and children, right? 89,000. And then you do a story on it. The Ebony Alert, and you use fucking Brooke Shields here, and it doesn't make any fucking sense. This is crazy, man. The fuck is wrong with these people, man? response to this trend, there's a new proposal called the Ebony Alert, a public notification specific to missing black children and women in the state. It speaks to the disparities that still exist, not only in California, but across the nation when it comes to race. State Senator Stephen Bradford hopes Ebony will mirror Amber Alerts, America's missing broadcast emergency response. A seven-year-old Dallas boy is missing. The program broadcasts alerts on highway signs, radio, television, and wireless devices when a child 17 years and under is missing, abducted, or an imminent... So is the black person going to get both or one of the... <laughs> 
So if a black woman and child go missing, they go um I would like they <laughs> I would like to put out an Amber Alert, man. They'd be like, yeah, uh, yeah, you have a lot of bass in your voice. Yeah, because I'm black. Yeah, and the person that's um, missing is black, too. Okay, hold on. Let me let me transfer you to the Ebony Alert. This is the Amber Alert. <laughs> I'm going to transfer you. Hold, hold on. <laughs> You want to hold this shit because they had to transfer you to the Ebony line. Shit is fucking retarded, man. Years and under is missing, abducted, or in imminent danger. The Ebony alert includes notifications for black 12 to 25-year-olds who go missing or are deemed abducted, victims of human trafficking, physically endangered, or runaways. At 28, Kaya Taylor would have been ineligible for an Ebony. 28, Kaya Taylor is white. A 28 cartel is white, man. And she should be ineligible for, she should be ineligible for a goddamn Ebony Alert. Fuck. Law working mysterious ways, man. Physically endangered or runaways. At 28, Kaya Taylor would have been ineligible for an Ebony alert. Her mother, pleased with the new proposal, but believes it should go further with a cutoff age of at least 30 years old. I've always referred to Amber Alert as crime control theater. Timothy Griffin studied nearly 500 Amber Alerts from 2012 to 2015. Finding the most significant variable in missing children's cases was the abductor's relationship to the victim, not the Amber Alert itself. His recommendation is a standard normal law enforcement investigation. The DOJ yeah. declined to comment on the pending evidence. Yeah, Amber Alert don't work. I seen that shit on the highway the other day. It was like... Um, it gave out a fucking license plate number and a make and model, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck I'm supposed to remember? I, I don't even know my license plate number. Press one. Ebony alert legislation, but Bradford believes his ebony effort remains worthwhile it's better than not doing anything at all as for kaya taylor her case is still open how are you and your family coping well they got this whole white woman this is ridiculous man yo this is fucking ridiculous man this is the ebony alert special man and it's a fucking white woman well, we've all had to um, move on in the sense, but we've stayed strong. Kanitha, hoping all missing women and people of color get the attention they need to come home. And yo. Yo. Yo, man. That means a white woman, man. That's a white woman, man. Look at lips, man. Look at them lips, man. She a whole white woman, man. <laughs> she a whole white woman, man. Make sure you take the $5 challenge, man. Let's see some new people taking the $5 challenge, man. Support the channel. Come through, man. Come through and support the channel. We are here every night entertaining you. Are you not entertained, man? If you're not entertained, man, you can say it, man. Tell me, man. This is crazy, man. What the fuck is going on, man? This is a white woman. And it is important to add that the Hillsborough County, Florida Sheriff's Office does want the public's help still in identifying Kaya Taylor. She's just one of many missing people right now. I'll tell you, man.